And like many of the other astronomy and planetary science journals, we don't have an editorial board who have teaching responsibilities or research positions. Instead, we have a full-time team of in-house editors who dedicate their time to putting out nature astronomy every month. We all come from research backgrounds. We all have PhDs and postdoc experience. And so we consider ourselves as part of the community still. And we consolidate those links by attending conferences and visiting universities and, and institutes to find out about the latest research. For research papers, the editorial process at Nature Astronomy is very similar to that at other astronomy and planetary science journals. Uh, an editor will look at all of the submitted research papers and make an initial decision based on our editorial criteria. And should we decide to proceed with a, with a submission, we will then uh, look for and appoint different referees to look at a paper, and then we will be in charge of the entire peer review process. We will um, assess the referees' reports, uh, we will then look at the responses from the authors, and eventually decide on when and whether to publish uh, a paper. We try to appoint three different referees, um, and that we find that that gives us a more balanced picture of a submission, and in the end, it allows us to make a more informed decision. A difference between Nature Astronomy and other astronomy and planetary science journals is that we have what we call a front half or more magazine style section of the journal. And this is where we can have more community focused content, for instance, editorials or comments or perspectives. And it's also where we can have pieces, articles that explain our science to a wider audience, things like news and views and research highlights. This part of the journal deals with topics that we think are timely or relevant. It is managed by the editors, but we are of course open to contributions from the community, so feel free to get in touch.